Has Terror Tuesday lost its meaning? Maybe a little. Do I really care? No, not really. <laughs> so if we check it out, Monster Prom. It's about a hot seat edition, apparently. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh, before we actually fully start, start though. I it told me I unlocked stuff. I don't know how I unlocked stuff. I assume just by downloading it. Lovely. Yes. Wait, variation. Oh, it can change depending. Oh. Oh. We'll stick with her though. She's cool. Dramatization. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Start kicker. I don't know what any of this means. But I love it all. And these are all the characters. Oh, There's too many good options. Oh no. <laughs> if all of- I don't think all of these people are dateable. But if they are, I'm gonna have a tough time choosing. And there will probably be a lot of bi panic. Oh my word. A lot has changed since I first heard of this game. So, oh, that's creative director. Oh, that's fun. They have like their own monster versions. Lovely. <laughs> Jesse Cox, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I remember. A lot of wonderful people worked on this, so. Anything else? Nope, okay, so there's, oh gosh. Oh, there's a lot of endings. Oh no, oh no. Polaroids? Oh, there's so much. Monster sonas, fan art. Wait, there's fan art like in the game? Oh. This is so interesting. Okay. All right, um, before I get way too distracted by everything, let's just play and see what happens. I really don't know. Red Mac Gamer, hi, hello. Voice interjections, yay or nay. Awesome voice effects, make your own voices. No effects. Uh, go with voice effects, I guess. Ah, uh, it's me! I'm solo. I am alone. <laughs> Second term DLC. What? Oh gosh, there is so much more. I don't... Short game or lo full game? Uh, let's do a full game. Why the fuck not? I'm streaming it, so let's go. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Some t And spoiling Zoe, I will take care of that in two seconds. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. <sighs> we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, so we can- oh, this is- oh, right, that's who the player characters are. Okay. I feel like either ghost person or Frankenstein's monster. Beha Frankenstein's monster. Okay. The, those two are the, like, the more- most like me, but yeah. Who are you really? Uh... So I could be named Blue, Vicky, or custom name. Obviously custom name, because I wait, can I do the keyboard? I can. Nom nom. Yes. Excellent. Pro oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. I mean, I'm gonna stick with she, but that's lovely that there's options there. That's very lovely. Sweet. And we had yet the, to experience its ultimate challenge. 
The monster prom. I remember it clearly. Six weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. I yes, I love this. Damien LeVay, 21, kind of old for high school, but cool. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howe, 21, okay. 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. That's endearing. I love it. <laughs> Liam de Lioncourt, 4X. Oh, like 400, I guess. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Polygeese 22 question mark. A party goes with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Come on, cat. Come on. What? Uh, and Vera O Vera Oberlin. 23. A mean self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had six weeks to choose our prom date and even more daunting, we only had six weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. See, I can't relate. <laughs> Being young, sure, unafraid, that was never an option. <laughs> all the panic, all the, nope, not happening. Really, ma'am? Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever! All minds are run, but they are run in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are! <laughs> this is great. I love this. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, trademarked, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. There are options when you are young? Apparently. I, apparently. Let's start. The coolest reality show would be... Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the best at giving money to you. Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge. Seducing a potato into marriage. Somehow. <laughs> People in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field. And if they fail, they lose their jobs. And society wins. This feels very related to current times but also the potato <laughs> this is just so stupid this is like i want people to give me money please but also i like the idea of society winning though a little more than people trying to, to seduce a potato but this is close second so smart. <laughs> Which inanimate object do you think would make the best girlfriend or boyfriend provided you went criminally insane? Uh. Uh. Oh my word. All right, a human sized pillow to picture your character created by myself. As a matter of fact, I have all the needed paperwork and I'm only waiting for <laughs> my in-laws for a Life would has found a territory, as was clearly intended by God. Um, that's debatable, but sure. An ATM, sugar baby for life, here I come. Uh, I guess it just depends if it's just money you can freely give or not. And, uh, dildo. Duh. Um... Listen, the most realistic for me is probably the human-sized pillow. 
because I don't hide that I'm a weeb. I don't have a human-sized pillow. But if I were to go criminally insane, this is probably where my brain would take me. Yeah. I guess that's creative of me. <laughs> What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have? Sports things. How to set stuff on fire. Lyrics. Oh. Lyrics all Disney songs. Obscure 80s movie trivia. All the principles to build a financial empire. How to make a killer cocktail out of anything. Okay, I'm... S it, it, it. I I can't. Let's go. Um. Okay. So what do my stats end up? I'm nine smarts, four boldness, seven creativity, four charm, four fun, and five money. Oh, so I can just pick where to go. Um. Okay. I think. I don't even know who I'm going for, romantic-wise. I guess I'm just gonna play blind and see what happens. Cause honestly, I really don't know. I, I don't know who I want. I don't know who I would prefer right now. They're all cute looking in their own way. I just, uh, let's, I mean, let's go to the library, I guess, because like, that looks great. Oh. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but sure. That day you spent some time on the library's PCs, playing some good old online poker. Why everyone gotta poop outside? I don't know. It's weird, man. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. <laughs> you gained two money. After, oh, it's the narrator. I have voices on, don't I? I'm surprised. Isn't there a narrator voice? Hmm. Unless I accidentally turned it off. I don't think I did. After that, you engage in a deadly match of truth or dare or a death with Polly. And that would be a super interesting event to cover. But then the two of you spot Miranda and Liam deep in an intense conversation. And that's bound to be much more interesting. Hiya. Hey, babes, you were making quite a noise. I love anything that makes quite a noise. What's up? I guess I turned voices off. Weird. I thought I would have left them on. Hey, you two. Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement. You see, we want to start our own school club. You know, an intellectually rewarding extracurricular that enriches our minds while probably not being mentioned ever again in the future because continuity at the school seems to be a bit random. Yeah, sure. That. Noise! Let's do it! Y'all know my fave things in the world! Drugs. Mm -hmm. Sexual activities? Uh, noise. <laughs> no, dummies. That's that too. But I meant chess and Russian literature. Stop training me as if I were two dimensional. <laughs> Let's start a literature club! Oh no! Of all the things to recommend, why a literature club? <laughs> As I have my Doki Doki flashbacks. <sighs> huh, I'm not sure. Do you remember what happened last year when we joined the literature club? Poems I made new friends? No, the other thing. Huh? Ah, fuck, yes, that's right. So weird, I almost forgot. I mean, that's how I died, you know? Anyway, thing is, Miranda and I were already between two ideas. I proposed we start, start the club club. So, A delightful meta club where we enjoyed ourselves by designing and crafting new school clubs. Boring. I proposed the Little Pony Sweet Dreams Club, a club where we would spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies. 
Whoa, you two really know how to sound two dimensional. But in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No, our lives are fueled by the conflict and confrontation that can only be solved by choosing between two options. <laughs> That's why we need you to choose which club is the best one, because Nom Nom always seems to choose based on who she wants to ask to prom. I just started this game and already I'm being called out. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's too early for this bullshit. Hold on, I just remembered something I forgot to do. And it's only important to me because I am like this. There we go. So sh which one should we go for? Just remember, one of the ideas includes ponies. Hmm. A tough choice. Mostly because I'm like super drunk right now. A tough choice indeed. It's your opportunity to convince Polly of one of the options because no one is preventing you from making choices based on who you want to ask to prom. Um. <laughs> I mean, the pony one is at night, so it technically counts as a nightclub. <laughs> I love that it's best club is clearly the club club because and then just throw some confetti um I literally don't know I mean I know we match because of the Disney lyrics but also like I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. Um I mean both answers are fucking funny. Like and the idea of being with ponies and reading stories, that sounds nice. But also just being like uh club club is great because confetti, I don't know. Um Uh. Let's go with this one. I think this was a little more interesting to be fair. Yes. Oh, good point, Nom Nom. I do like nightclubs. You do realize it would be nothing like an actual nightclub, right? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Have you been to this Little Pony Sweet Dreams nightclub? No, but... Less butts and more butts, boo. Pony butts. How majestic. Ponies have majestic buttocks, indeed. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, now I need to see it myself. I hope they know how to shake those pony asses. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> the only thing I understood is that my proposal has won, and that's the only thing that matters. Huzzah! Nom nom, it might be true you only make choices based on who you want to ask to prom. <laughs> but if that's true, you're off to a good start. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to tell rad bedtime stories to ponies alongside Miranda. Meanwhile, you gain two charm and one smarts. Do I have any idea what's going on? No. Let's go. Cool. Who do I want to hang out with? Um. Um. Okay, so I'm kind of already on the track of Pink Girl, it seems. But I don't want to just like limit to one person if that makes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I think it'd be fun to see how these two interact, but also, um, her, and then there is demon and ghost. I think she's a ghost, I'm not sure. But then I don't know who she is, or who she is. Uh, I hate making decisions. Especially when it's just like on the spot. 
Um, you know what? Fuck it. I. <laughs> Strange. You could have sworn Polly and Damien were at this table when you picked it. Noob. Psst. Hey, loser. Down here. Hey, boo. It's us, Polly and Damien, hiding under this table for totally innocent reasons. A ferocious roar sounds from the door to the ca of the cafeteria. Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, is here, and he's looking for someone. Oh shit, he's here! Why is he after us anyway? I think what we did really falls more under federal jurisdiction. <laughs> International law, more like. Those munchkins were Canadian citizens. Now that you mention it, I think we might actually have to face a war crimes tribunal. Worth it though, right? Oh, totally. As long as we get away from Buzzkill the bear over there. Um... What? So, oh, oh, so he's, I guess, a prince of hell and she's like a ghost. So whoever, like only one person can really be helped here. Though, um, shit, I don't know. The ghost zone, you know, special alternative dimension only ghost can you use. Hi behind dipl diplomatic immunity. I mean, you're both princes of hell, right? <laughs> oh, hey, Jean. Yeah, it has been a long time. How are you? Sorry if you um, said something earlier. Um, or if you just popped in, but hello. It really is drag, and I'm like screaming over here, like, "Ugh!" Uh, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> not me. I'm not. I'm not even a princess of hell. I love her facial expression. Guess you should have thought of that before being born a commoner, huh? Oh, never mind. I should have punched him in the face. <laughs> I was a born Damien. I was died. Well, die better next time. I'll try to keep that in mind when I'm being tried at Fairy Tale Court for negligent munch munchkin side. Great, let me know how it goes. I'm off to crash an orphanage and get away with it because I'm royalty. Uh, later. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? After the orphanage crushing, Damien takes you out for ice cream. Sweet. Literally. Okay, um, where should we go? Okay, it's nighttime, so... Oh, and there's someone in the gym, I guess? Interesting. Uh, let's go outdoors, though. That tree looks fun. <gasps> Look at me rock it! Yeah! That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are, like, 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightclub dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain too fun. Later, you see Damien and Miranda chatting and being a nosy little bitch. <laughs> you decide to insert yourself into the conversation. Miranda, you just keep following me around, don't you? <laughs> I look forward to this adventure so. Is there anything more wonderful than getting insight into the lives of commoners? <sighs> You're not pull that shit the whole time. My dads are lords of hell, you know. Technically, I'm royalty too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you though? Damien rolls his eyes and turns to you. Mrs. Panther paired us up for our hands-on homework assignment, going on an adventure. Apparently, I have some anger issues and a thirst for violence that I should be channeling into something productive. 
like a thirst for violence isn't productive in and of itself. And I'm supposed to work on being more independent, which is so strange since I told my ladies and gentlemen in waiting to fix that for me last week. <laughs> I wonder what sort of adventure might give us the wonderful experience we need to fix our perceived but obviously non-existent flaws. Uh, that face is terrifying. Go on a deep sea quest to steal beautiful pearls from a scary kraken. Journey to a volcano to have a hot time at a fire method strip club. Uh, gotta go with the deep sea quest. <laughs> Not so bold. Fair enough. I wasn't known for my boldness. <laughs> oh, yes. We should absolutely go at once. Nothing shall teach me independence like we're returning to my own kingdom where I can be waited on hand and foot by all my servants and will have daddy to smite down anyone who says I'm not independent da, 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 da. and of course the nurse who raised me can also help dispel the rumors that I can't dispel rumors myself I don't know if I'm making good choices anymore <laughs> Damien looks at you like he probably thinks you're a fucking idiot a life you're a fucking idiot. Thank you, I guess. Yep, there it is. You lose two smarts and one fun. Are you serious? Ugh, I worked hard for those stats. No, I didn't. Okay, why does it keep showing me Cat Lady? Do we need to, like, go chat with Cat Lady? I'll go chat with Cat Lady. Hey, stranger. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Literally just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume. But most of our classmates are idiots. Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Oh my gosh, wait. Happy little accidents. Ah! Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? A Russian novel with insightful approach. Love and death. That seems very specific. Bitch in the mirror. And <laughs> a sexy fake Latin accent. Oh my word. Too poor for this. Uh, oh my gosh. You can straight up buy cocaine. Ew. Um, you know what? Now I'm curious about this. You know what? Fuck it. Catch you later. No refunds. Let's go. Oh, it's it's alien, dude. Ah. Let's go see what he—he's fun. I want to see. You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. Oh, geez, my love. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me, the riddle of how to get my TV to switch from HDMI one to HDMI 2. <laughs> I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. You truly are both wise and generous 
As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps laser communion might interest you. Or reverse baptism? Or eggs? The choice is yours. 